Welcome to Dialogue 80. You can't really do a degree and run a successful website at the same time, can you? There's no way you could do all the social media chores before starting your college work. I can help you when I have a moment off if you like. One day maybe we will find a software that can do it all for us. I'd love to help you full time but I just can't. I couldn't give up my job I would be too scared that if it all went pear-shaped we would be in trouble. I could go with you to the see the new Coen Brothers film but I won't because I already saw it on Tuesday. You could have told me you were going, I wonder why you didn't. I could see you were looking a bit guilty. I'd love to watch it again with you but I just can't. Why wasn't it that good? Luckily I was able to change the tickets online. Can I choose which film we will see? No, you can't. Hadn't you better check that the seats are available before deciding? We may as well watch the lastest Russell Crowe film, there's nothing else on. We ought to get going as we need to be at the cinema before 8 o'clock. We had better take an umbrella just in case. I have to go to the bathroom. I might have to as well. They attribute these fluctuations in the weather to global warming but I can see no rhyme or reason in it. By the way, some good news arrived out of the blue. You know my Uncle George, the one with the green fingers. He has always been down on his luck, slightly jinxed if you ask me. Well, he has had a freak crop of tomatoes. His approach to farming was always a little haphazard but he has inadvertently come across a hardy strain. While most of this year's crop has been killed off, he has dug up a way of growing a tomato that can get through the changes in weather conditions. Apparently, such a discovery will bring him quite a windfall and as he has always regarded me as his lucky charm, he wants me to have a share in his new fortune. So touch wood due to the potluck, we may not have to cut back on everything whilst you are studying after all. Do you want to buy the tickets while I buy the chocolate? You ought to try something different or would you like have your usual N and N's? If I don't like the new chocolate, I will eat yours. I hope that we enjoy the film. It's based on a true story. It's about a woman who claimed to be able to see into the future but everybody thought she was only guessing. Then one day she predicted a famous accident but investigations attributed it to chance. New evidence was brought to light about five years ago and although police have yet to determine the cause, it has opened a can of worms. The film is about an investigator who is working on a conspiracy theory and the rest we are about to discover.